<laughs> uh, speaking of movies, I mentioned how my dad sent me the book, The Case for Christ. <laughs> Millions of copies in print. I mentioned it on the show, and so many listeners have heard of this book, if not read it themselves. Very popular New York Times bestseller. So I see on the cover... New York Times bestseller. It was. <laughs> I know, but what the hell? <laughs> it's going to be a major motion picture. And I said, then I'll see that. <laughs> Easy. And I saw on Rotten Tomatoes that it was... An hour and 11 minutes in a movie, movie from 2007. Now, I learned that for some reason Rotten Tomatoes got it wrong because this is not the case. It is a very recent movie from 2017, and it's a full two hours long. Oh, wow. It is on Netflix. I said, you know what? I'm going to give this a little go. Let's see, uh, see what happens. This movie... <laughs> Is so good. No. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I watched the beginning of it. Okay. And they, they go into drama right away. I get what they're setting up. It's a good way to set it up, should I say? I mean, I don't think anyone cares about spoilers, right? Well, first of all, it's, uh, the you know who made The Case for Christ? The G Case for... G uh, the, God himself? The Case for Christ movie production company. Mm. <gasps> oh. <laughs> but whatever, so right? So far, so good. They have a good case. They mm -hmm. have two cases. Uh, so, yeah, the family... Dad, wife, and girl. And a preg pregnant wife, pregnant because wife. you know that adds a level of um, sympathy and, sure. you know, they're at a, they're, they're atheists. They're a very happy family. He just got a promotion and a raise and is like the big shot at the office. He works for the Chicago Tribune. He's a journalist. Right. Oh, that's very important. They have a sexy, secular lifestyle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> very bohemian. You understand this. <laughs> they go to a restaurant to celebrate. And um, the daughter chokes on a, a piece of uh, a, a piece of gum or candy. Or is something, this right? a fiction or a nonfiction movie? It is. It is in the book. Supposedly, he's a he's an he says he's an atheist that decided as a journalist to use his journalism skills and prove there is no Christ. Through that search, he learns there absolutely is a Christ. Oh this is the dramatization God. of that journey. All right, sorry to interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know about Jesus. Uh, so she chokes on And I, I honestly thought that they were going to kill her off because I thought they were, they were starting off very dramatic. Right. What happens is this, this woman is dining there. She's like, I'm a nurse. Give me your, give me your kid. And the, the kid was turning white and everything. She pops the gum out and... Uh, and the wife says, thank you so much. I don't know what we would have done without you. Like, it's such a great coincidence that you were here as a nurse. And she goes, it's no coincidence. It was Jesus. And I was like, oh, good one. Good one. No one can fight that. You just saved my daughter. I would still be like, ah, thanks for saving my daughter. But that's not for us. Yeah. <laughs> now, that changes this wife, who apparently never really thought about her atheism too much. Because <laughs> immediately she's on board, loves the Lord, and that's turning this guy's happy home upside down. Because he's jealous. There's another man in his life, Christ Jesus. <laughs> I didn't get to that part. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And he, he just knows it's uh, malarkey, so how can he be with somebody so stupid? So, yeah. so he says, you know what? I'm a journalist. I'm going to use my journaling, and I'm going to prove that there isn't a Christ. And he thinks, how do I do that? And he comes to the conclusion that everything hinges on the resurrection of Jesus. So all he has to do is prove that the resurrection never happened. What, like the the rising of Jesus after he's dead? That Jesus was killed on a cross, was buried in a tomb, three days later walked around saying, how do you do? Mm -hmm. And he's going to get to the bottom of this. So he's going to be the historian that will debunk Jesus. Anytime he made a story for the newspaper, what's he going to do? Hey, it's been done before. No, he's tackling cigarettes or a robbery. <laughs> so this guy... <sighs> gets so blown away by the simplest of answers mm. from any scientist or historian he talks to. He talks to the first historian, and he says, uh, how come there weren't any witnesses of Jesus coming back from the dead? How, and uh, the historian says, well, actually, there were 500 witnesses. And here they Jesus are. Jesus back from the dead. <laughs> They're right. all back from their dead, too. <laughs> so then the journalist goes, oh, and starts writing down in his pad, 500 witnesses. That's done. That's the end of the journalism no. for that day. He goes back to the Chicago Tribune, 
and, and they, they don't fire him. They don't <laughs> right. I don't know where. Like, what the hell are you doing out there, dude? They're not paying him. <laughs> <laughs> he comes back, finds some room that's you know you can tell is kind of isn't being used, and he organizes it. And all of a sudden, he's Kerry Matheson from Homeland, and he has all these <sighs> boards. He has a giant whiteboard. He, you know, he has. He, he, it's like a serial killer posting all the exactly. different pieces. So he writes on the board. Huge, taking up half the board, 500 witnesses, and then s- leans back and stares at it like, mm, all right, taking. The- I'm like, you're going to run out of room. <laughs> Nothing happened yet. So he sees another historian, and he goes, hey, wh- wh- what's with the Bible? I don't believe it. Real smarmy, by the way. Tell me more about this God. So he's like this charismatic like documentarian yeah. guy, like making a movie. Right, and so a historian says, well, do you know how many copies of the Iliad there are? What's the Iliad? 3,000 copies. I believe it's what the Greeks used as a religion at the time. It's the, the prequel to the Odyssey. Right. Mm-hmm. And he said, well, guess how many copies there were of the Bible? If you stacked up the copies of those, it would reach the moon. And this guy starts raining what? it down like so many more copies of the Bible than any other historical document. So he goes to his whiteboard. He writes that on the other half of the board. Yeah, but what if Harry Potter got sold more than that? Is he writing it on the whiteboard too? That's that, exactly what it would that be. That to me is the answer. That's exactly what it is. We just found this book and we're like, this has got to be the book. That's what I think. Yeah, I think just... it is a Harry Potter type thing. Mm. I think it is this wonderful story with, mysticism but if you read it at a different time and you see that oh hey we were human beings like this we did go to school so maybe they were flying and it's because the, you just don't get and it and it's the coolest story so the people with the money and the power go this is the coolest story that we can use to oppress the most women and to take the most money from our people and that's what church is right? you want to hear one that really got the journalist oh boy okay he goes let me ask you this another smarmy question mm-hmm. if Jesus who is God was God, why didn't he defend himself from being killed? Why did he allow himself to be killed? And that's the end of the movie. Credits roll. <laughs> and he's just sitting there, arms crossed behind the credits the whole time. <laughs> Nodding his head up and down like, mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Look, keeps looking over at his wife like, you dumbass. <laughs> so he's talking to this priest, and the priest goes, oh, the answer is simple. Love. Mm. And so the journalist writes that down on his pad. Love, okay. What? There's no follow-up question? No, that's it. Then he gets three pieces of red yarn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ties the three things we learned together. <laughs> and then it goes to a montage under the song Carry On My Wayward Son. And he's just on the phone and you hear like quick little instances of, and that's definitely a for sure legit document. Okay, thank you. And that happens about 10 times. So you know he really did his oh, yeah. research. The over the phone notary of historical <laughs> facts. We, we don't all have access to those. So here's another one that uh, really blew his mind, okay? He said, I read the Bible and I'm comparing this story of him getting out of the tomb to this guy's story, to this gospel, to this None of these stories match up from one gospel to another. And the person he's talking to says, yeah, you're a journalist. Do your witnesses ever match? Blows his mind. But that means we shouldn't take the Bible at all because witnesses are bad. And so if you're writing things down, you're definitely writing it wrong. That doesn't mean a story didn't happen. But that means we wrote the story story, down wrong. The main story still happened. The resurrection still happened. Whose memory wrote that down? But they're just getting some... Wait, that one you wouldn't forget. (laughs) (laughs) I fucking came from the dead, Henda. So that part is a fact. What they saw exactly or where they saw Jesus exactly didn't match up. You find all these different people having the same exact story. That's what would be suspect. And he runs to his room at the newspaper station, starts starts a whole new board. It's not even that far-fetched to think that some dude was like, okay, I'm going to rob Jesus' tomb. And he's like, oh, my God, they're going to figure out that I robbed Jesus' tomb. What do I do? And then he's like, I'm Jesus, right. and I have to go now forever. I'm never coming back. Right. It's like, Jesus, you look different. <laughs> do I? Do I look a little different? It's like, oh, you guys don't know shit, and I'm also leaving forever, and I'm going to leave this thing that is like me, but you won't <laughs> see it. But I'll be here later, guys. Uh, another thing that blew this journalist's mind? is when he was told, somehow he didn't know this, Mm -hmm. but he was told that some people were willing to die for their belief in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be true because you wouldn't just die for nothing. Oh my God, you kill yourself for no reason. There's a bridge that people go to for that. Isn't that what being an atheist is, is accepting that you'll die for nothing? Isn't that what killing yourself is? I guess so. 
I don't know, man. That guy sounds really dumb. <laughs> He's very stupid. <laughs> and he two hours all... long. <laughs> <laughs> Each fact takes 15 minutes. And yeah, well. I'm not exaggerating when I say these facts are one sentence. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, he broke the story. He's like, okay, 500 witnesses. Could they all be, have been hypnotized? So he talks to a brain doctor and says, hey, doctor, could 500 people be hypnotized into believing in Jesus? I swear to God, if that guy said no. He goes, no. What, what about the people who drank the Kool-Aid? A thousand people died. They bring that up. And they go, that's different. That's, wow, that's exactly the same. Wow, that's a leader telling you what to do and you follow without question. So the wife ends up getting baptized. She's so, so, so into this, right? And he's in, in, uh, in a river. And he's watching, leaning on a tree, like, fuck this bullshit. You know, he's all but taking a whiz. <laughs> right. so she goes they put her under the water when they lift her up and she goes to look at him he's gone and he's out drinking and you can tell that anytime he starts having doubts about his atheism he has to get drunk and i've noticed oh, that oh because they need to make him a drunken fool yes mm-hmm. yes wow. because he's not he knows that he sees the fucking evidence already all three things i mentioned but he's denying it Mm. the wife starts praying on a uh, a passage in the Bible, which she got from the nurse from earlier. Anytime she gets upset about the, the husband coming home drunk, she'd run off in this hospital and see the nurse uh, who's religious. And the nurse always had time for her. And I've been to the hospital before, so that part <laughs> I, I actually believe. <laughs> they don't do a fucking thing, and they're free to talk. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, she's reading this uh, Bible passage, uh, you know, please remove his heart of stone and give him a heart of flesh okay. and says it over and over again. And then it, as she's saying it, it's cutting to him looking at his now filled up whiteboard hmm. with pictures of Jesus. Because you need the visual. So you remember. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> and stupid 500, 500 witnesses taken up, you know, five feet of space. And he goes, hmm. Son of a bitch. I cannot deny this. Why am I uh, fighting it so bad? And then you hear quotes from the movie earlier. 500 witnesses. Faith is the evidence. Why did he kill himself? Because he did it for love. And you see his face just going, yeah, I get it. I get it. So he comes home and he's like, honey, let me tell you what I've been working on for the last couple months. Well, you were, I would assume, fucking my friends. (laughs) Yeah, why? It's just... I assume having an affair with this right. nurse who's giving you way more attention than I am. I, and just to be clear, this movie is acted, right? This is yes. a, yeah. It yeah. has it has some some actual names in it, you right? Would, yes. Not a list, but right. You would recognize uh, some of these people. I, and she goes, yeah, "I guess I thought something was weird, but I'm nervous. Whoa, 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 I was trying to debunk him. What? No, hear me out. Yeah, wait, good. Say it dramatic to your yeah, wife. Yeah. You haven't been around for her. You left in her baptism. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah she's, been, she's been going to somebody else for comfort. But yeah, yeah. make this dramatic. Hold on to your seat. You're good. Oh, baby, you wait till this fucking answer. I think you're smart because I found out that I'm smart. Well, I'll tell mm. you what. All right, God, you win. And you know what, sweetheart? I do believe. She cries tears of joy. They immediately get on their knees and start praying. The end. The woman who I chose to spend the rest of my life with couldn't believe her for two months. (laughs) A bunch of dusty old motherfuckers told me some stupid shit. And honey, you know what? They were right. He never even asked her, like, hey, what makes you believe? Like, you know, I'm an atheist, too. How did you come out of it? Because that would be a real thought right. process. Like, what was the yeah. click over? What What are you feeling now? How do you feel when what, that now that Jesus is in your life? Does prayer actually help you? Why isn't he asking his wife, who I assume he's having a conversation with right. at all? Honestly what, you're not. just not talking while you get information? It was like the sixth sense, you know? <laughs> he thought they were talking, but they were never talking. <laughs> if, I was, if I was religious, I would be very upset with this movie. You because- wouldn't. <laughs> That's the thing. You'd love it. You'd love it. You'd love it because it's so true. You'd be like, mm-hmm. yeah, faith is the answer. Because what also, it, like, I said, like it's so. I mean, it's, if you're, it's so stupid. Like the whole thing is right. like to me so obviously not real, and so obviously like it's like all the things that we talked about that religion can be, and so many more. And I think when you're one of those people, because 
I used to be one of those people who really believed in that, you know, blindly faith and grew up in the church and stuff. And you, it's like a confirmation. Something like the case for Christ really is a two hour jack off fest of like, aren't we right? Like, thank mm. God we're right. Think, Cause it would be bad if we were wrong. So thank oh, God we're right. It's kind of like watching if you're a woman, a chick flick, and it's like, right, the wedding at the end, that makes sense. Right. And yeah. I, I think, yeah. yeah, and if, if, you're, if you're watching um, an action movie, like, yeah, I can jump out of a helicopter and land on right the Right into that pussy, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right on that. Don't ask him what movies he's seen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Please subscribe, hit the bell, so you know anytime a video comes up, and hit like or dislike. Let me do that again. Hit like.